Evening traders, Taylor with Gamma Edge here coming at you with a quick market status for Monday, January 30th. Here is our um, general disclaimer. Give this a read when you've done so. Let's move on. So here, going over the tick charts real quick. Here is our tick US model. By the way, sent out a new edition of the pro of the uh, of the program tonight to your emails. Uh, take a look at that. Uh, it's a deep dive into the cumulative tick itself. However. Assumption you have read this, so here we're moving on. Cumulative tick trending from lower left, upper right, constructive, new highs, continue to outpace new lows, constructive. Um, saw a little bit of filtered tick buying um, Friday, constructive, all in all, constructive model. Here we have the tick ARCX model, again, very constructive look. Uh, if there was is one uh, negative to point out on the chart, it is that the cumulative tick itself is... Um, yeah, a pretty decent spread between that and the longer term moving average ribbon. Something to keep in mind if you're looking to engage new longs at this point in the rally. Um, typically, you know, best to take those when we're closer to the longer term moving average itself. So something to keep in mind there. Now moving down to the um, PBI charts. Uh, one thing to note. Uh, let's see, 400, 4,000 on SPX continues to be large levels. We want to see this transition zone move higher as a floor underneath price. Hit on that in open mic tonight. Um, <clears throat> from there, we have 410 above. As price continues to go higher, we want to see this, this structure overall continue to progress higher. And below 400, stops 395, 390 is negative GEX. Again, here looking at PBI, um, that is... Here, PBI, this was removing Friday's expiration, so this is the best guess that we have without any additional information. Again, 400 here, massive level. Again, we want to see this transition zone shift higher and be a floor right under price itself. Next, moving on to um, price action itself. Here, we, we have the daily chart. Again, 410, this is Pluff's Gex. We've seen failure here a couple times over the past couple months. Uh, we are approaching this level again. Want to see how we do interact with this level. Uh, moving down to the hourly chart. Again, just a couple key levels here uh, from on a technical basis to look at. These are just kind of some swing lows, swing highs, and you know areas with a lot of price interaction. Zoom in those um, if you want to. Again, five-minute chart, same levels, just zooming in here. Lastly, uh, more important ones here, we have our gamma levels overlaid on the two minute chart. You can see on the SPY, we have COTMP, PTRANS, zero GEX all below us, um, plus GEX above. So risk to reward here, kind of right in the middle relative to our key levels, not the greatest place to be taking trades. Um, however, important why this way to look at SPX as well. SPX, we do have, we're right at PTRANS, COTMP, and zero gex below us so again important monday morning to see how we do interact with this level so if the if we do find support here and push higher it may look random on the spy but we do know on the spx the reason for this keep in mind these are friday levels after the close we do want to see with those weekend updates what these levels do look like pre-market which you will find those within the discord itself so with that uh wish you all the best of luck tomorrow talk to you all tomorrow night bye